Hello, my name is Gabriela Zavito, and this is my speech on Adderall abuse with college students. Back when I was a sophomore in high school at St. Mary's, I approached my doctor on what his opinion would be like if I were to take Adderall. Adderall is a drug that's used to reduce hyperactivity and improve your attention span. The reason why is because I am dyslexic and have ADD. Dyslexia is when someone has a difficulty time reading, such as reading quickly and automatically, where ADD means attention deficient disorder. It's when someone has a poor condition with paying attention, is very distractively, and has poor memories. Having these faults in my life made school harder for me, and I was trying to find simpler ways to ease myself from the stress and hardship of a private school. But ever since I started researching on this topic, I have found out the reason why my doctor never prescribed this drug to me from school. Plus, finding out how bad Adderall is for college students becomes another whammy on how college students abuse it. According to the Addiction Center on January 20th, 2022, the Addiction Center has projected that almost 16 million prescriptions of stimulants like Adderall were written in 2012, approximately triple the amount written in 2008. Today, we're going to learn why colleges must include Adderall abuse information in their new students' orientation. We will be talking about the problem, effects, and solution. We have a serious problem. Colleges are abusing Adderall. According to the National Institute of Drug Abuse, about two in three teens and young adults who abuse prescription stimulants get the drug from friends or relatives. Basically, that's 5.2 billion college students that are addicted to Adderall with what it can do for them through college to keep them focused and to get good grades. According to the Ohio Area Repeater Council, Inc., one main reason is that Adderall is most commonly prescribed to teenagers and young adults as the symptoms associated with ADHD are most noticeable in school environments. There are so many students that suffer with ADHD that think this is the only reason that they can get through the day without any eruptions in their head or distractions going on around them. But that's why they make these choices because of how they think this drug can get them from a, one place to another and to have a better future. Back to the first article that I mentioned from the National Institution of Drug Abuse, mentioning from an anger counselor and wellness surgeon, Rebecca Crown quoted saying, they can stay up all night socializing with friends and use Adderall to help stay alert and focus the next day when writing a paper or starting for an exam. This shows how far students are willing to go in order to be successful when they will want to have fun and stay focused on school at the same time. Now that we know the problem of why college students abuse our role, let's discuss the effects on the human body. There are two major long-term effects causing for physical and mental health issues. According to the Good Rx Health, these include addictions, heart problems, mental health problems, and slow growth in children. There are many effects that happen to the body, but there are so many of them that would be so hard to explain them all. The main ones that really caught my eye the most on what Adderall can do to the body is cause seizures, hair loss, weight loss, high blood pressure, heart problems, and possible comas that lead to death. From the same article, addiction causes difficulties from relationships and responsibilities and your health. Addiction is the worst one when it comes to being physically and mentally strong. According to the Drug Watch website, people who take Adderall may experience new or worsening psychotic or manic symptoms such as hallucinogens and delusional thinking. This is where it becomes really scary for Adderall when students make mistakes because it could lead them into consequences that aren't really their fault, their fault or that they can't control over. This shows how powerful this drug is and how far it is willing to test the mind in any situation that these college students are in. Now that we have learned the effects of Adderall, let's see the solution on how students can be more aware about it at school. This is a clear solution. Colleges must include Adderall abuse information in the new student orientations. According to the West Post, during an average school year, a major local university typically will respond to hundreds of cases involving alcohol, dozens involving drugs, and only a handful at most involving prescription stimulants, according to a post analyst of statistics from area schools. This is a good start, but we need colleges to have an important talk at the beginning of the year to every new or returning student that need to go 
need to get this through their head that they need to be careful when they take this drug or they will be severe consequences in the future. It's not only about school, but what's better for your body as well as your mind. According to the WebMC, which is a very accurate and credible site for U.S. health for Adderall abuse on college campuses where everything you need to know, mentioning that if you're a busy college student, you may see Adderall as a convenient tool to improve your focus and achieve better grades, but the drug is far from harmless. This is where it's a great idea for college students when they welcome new students to talk about it in their orientations and to prepare them for what it is to come and for what it is to struggle and find more resourceful ways other than Adderall to be more successful in college. Today we have learned about colleges must include Adderall abuse information in their new student orientations. We talked about the problem, effects, and solutions. Remember, according to the Addiction Center, last access on January 20th, 2022, the Addiction Center has projected that almost 16 million prescriptions for stimulants like Adderall were written in 2012, approximately triple the amount written in 2008. Imagine what it is now in 2022. Ever since I have started research about more about Adderall as well as finally understanding why my main primary doctor preferred for me not to take it has made me fully realize that I am very glad that I have not taken it to where I could have become one of the people who were developed habits where I could have had addictions just like everyone else that has become a victim to Adderall.